So Mavic 3 is used to guide mortar. Coming right up. What's up, boys? Drawing and eggs. Welcome back to Drone Logic for your drone and tech related info from my point of view. So, as we know, drones have basically revolutionized our world. I mean, they've they allowed things us to do things that would have been absolutely impossible just 20, 30 years ago. It, you would this would have just been flat out impossible to do. I mean, in order to get aerial photos and stuff, you know, 20, 30 years ago. 30 years ago would have cost you multiple thousands of dollars. You have to hire a helicopter pilot and rent out a, a, a helicopter and then fly the helicopter around. And then I'm guessing someone has to have a camera then. So you have to hire a separate person to have a camera because I, I doubt that a, a helicopter pilot could fly the helicopter and take the pictures. That would have been insanely expensive to just get up and take some pictures of air from the air. Now you can do that for a fraction of the cost. I mean, you can get uh, a drone pilot, a commercial drone pilot who can give you a package of pictures for perhaps two to $500, depending on where you live. I mean, if you're living in a place where the high cost of living would be a more expensive side. But that's possible now because of drones because they're using a wide variety of areas in in the world you know you got people using drones for recreational use you have prosumer level drones inexpensive enough now to get recreational use out of them you know you, people put them up and get great videos and, and uh, i mean professional level videos on vacations and such also you have commercial level you know, use drones to use to for fire and rescue to save people's lives to you know inspect buildings inspect cell phone towers and such and such so they are basically revolutionized in our world you know i mean drones can do things that it would take people a lot longer i mean a lot longer to do you get up a drone and do something and get it done in a fraction of a time you know you don't have to put a human being up on a roof now because you can get a drone up there to inspect the roof so they have definitely revolutionized the world now we know they've always been military drones <clears throat> But of course, these have been insanely expensive. Well, I've always said, well, why would you use some expensive drone? You can put up a DJI drone and get the job done. You know, uh, an Altair drone. Well, see, it appears that Ukraine has listened. They, they're using Mavic 3s now to guide their mortar rounds against Russia. And I thought that was, I mean, I'm thinking like that's kind of cool because you know these drones are very capable. They can do a lot more than just take aerial photos and, uh, and, and videos. They can do a lot more with the, I mean, the kid level of capability now. Now the Ukrainian forces site using the, you know, the 28 optical uh, telephoto lens on the Mavic 3, they can zoom in and they can accurately place their mortars. Not again, just a great use for these drones as opposed to an expensive forty thousand dollar drone, you know, mini copter. I saw some an advertisement video for some drone that was, I believe, produced in Norway or Sweden. Is some the small helicopter? Supposedly, you know, it had a thermal camera, thermal sensor on it, but forty thousand dollars. I mean, <clears throat> only the military would pay that much for a little copter like this size. I mean, I I, I couldn't do it. That's with the military, but like I said, just amazing what these drones can do now. They're being used for military, so the Mavic 3 is being used for military. So much so far, you know, United States being all up in enamored over data transfer. Even though I, like I said, I still don't get that one. This idea that we're going to ban Mavic DJI drones because they can give our information, even though there's nothing that these drones can give you that you can't see on satellite. You can, I mean, you can go Google Maps satellite photos and get anything that you could possibly get from a drone. Plus, anything that'll be of interest, drones can't even fly in, fly there anyway. Plus, nobody has as much security precaution, and safety precautions, and they're built in their drones in DJI. I mean, people are losing their mind over geofencing, but I think it's a good thing. Anyway, just thought I'd post it out. This was from a uh, drone DJ, Ukraine using Mavic trees for war. 
Who knew? Anyway, y'all, as always, 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 until next time.